I'll run marathons, you know, in the future. I'm not sure that it will be as emotional and as personally uh, meaningful that, uh, as this one. My parents have uh, cerebral palsy, and one of the things that they've always kind of imbued in my brother and I is don't sit on the sidelines. They've obviously been handicapped their whole lives, but they've never let that get in the way of kind of, you know, sucking the sweets of life. I had the good fortune of having my parents uh, watch me run a race in Rochester. I ran a 5K last year, and they were at the finish line, and I was able to high-five both of them as I crossed the finish line, which was so fantastic. The New York Marathon has a very unique utility on their website where you can actually watch someone as they make their way through all 26.2 miles. And last year when I ran, both of my parents were sort of glued to their iPad as they watched me make my way through the marathon. First half of the marathon was amazing. I felt like I was running on air. Midway through the marathon, uh, my left hip decided to uh, check out. <laughs> my parents helped me through that second half because I knew they were tracking my progress. So I used the mile markers as inspiration because I knew that every mile marker I crossed, they would be watching me. My mom was an extraordinary human being. She was a full blood Italian, a grabber, a kisser, a hugger, and very much in your personal space to express that love. I decided to sort of channel this year's marathon and help raise money for cerebral palsy of Rochester. It's an organization that helps folks with disabilities live more independent lives. I had set an arbitrary goal of $5,000, never imagining that I would even come close to that. But family and friends and people I have never met overwhelmed me with their uh, donations, words of encouragement, and support. As of this morning, I've just crossed the $6,000 mark. The, the thing that kind of really sort of resonates with me is that I'll be running for folks who can't. My mom and dad, you know, running a marathon is something that just simply could never be something that they could do. So it's going to be a very emotional experience as I sort of carry both of them with me across the finish line.